I just did the stupidest thing. I was talking and explaining what we're doing now and my camera was not recording. So, starting over. Um, Jamie and I are gonna do a little project. We, oh, I mentioned that we um, had came in from being outside, Sissy woke up, we had lunch, we rested a little bit, um, Jamie and I watched a show, and now we're getting back to work, we're gonna do a little project. Um, so I mentioned in my last video that one of the things, like my goal for the quarantine was to get everything like really good and organized and everything have a home and get it where it goes. And um, I've done really good on that. I've organized all of like our closets, our junk drawers, we redid the boys' bedrooms. We took them from bunk beds to single beds. Um, all the books are with the books. All the toys are with the toys. Everything feels really good. Even my cabinet under my sink is organized, which is like, hallelujah. But so one of the things that bothers me about our house is that we have this tiny, one tiny little linen closet. And that's the only place we have to store towels, blankets, washcloths, sheets, all of it. And it's teeny. And so we have blankets like scattered throughout the house. Some of them are under the boys bed, some of them are in the boys closet, some of them are under mine and Jeff's bed and there. Some of them are in Sissy's room. Um, and so I got these bags that look like this, where you put the blankets into the bag and then you suck all the air out and it makes it really, really flat so you can stack a bunch of them together I'm hoping that I can put the boys' blankets in their room. <laughs> Jamie has to pee and he's stuck. So, me and Jamie are going to do a little project with all of these blankets. And then there's Sissy. Hi, Sissy. Sissy is working on pushing up to crawl. She really wants to go, don't you? Do you really want to go? Say, go, go. So that was more of a project than I expected it to be and I don't think I'm done um, my assistant left me I sucked down both of those bags that had the blankets in them but then I went to shove them into our linen closet and please don't judge my linen closet because it's a mess um, and that one <laughs> is expanding again it's not all the way sucked down so I'm gonna have to get it out of there before it all the way expands and do it again the one down there though worked fine Okay, I'm gonna redo that one okay. real quick. They're both in. I had to MacGyver that one because the little like thing that you suck the air out with like tore along the plastic part and it, it didn't matter how much air I sucked out, it would refill. So I had to tape it shut. <laughs> but it's in there and um, this needs help. But I'm not ready for that yet. But that's way better than it was. There's no blankets under anybody's beds. There's no blankets, just like under random cabinets and um, in people's closets. So I'm happy with how that turned out. It feels good. Hello friends, it's the next day. Um, last night we kind of just fell off <laughs> with our video. We made dinner um, and got the kids to bed and Jeff and I tried to go to bed early. I got so tired yesterday afternoon. I was just like a walking zombie. I think from being out in the sun all day with the kids playing, jumping on the trampoline, I wore myself out. Um, so it's the next day. 
We just woke up. Jossie. Oh, we're blurry. We're like really blurry. There it goes. Jossie's sitting here playing with her toys. Me and Jamie are watching the live action Little Mermaid, I think. I had on the regular one and then he decided that he'd rather watch this one, so we switched it. He's over there and um, Jack is in the other room eating a toaster strudel and trying to beat one of his games that he plays. And I'm just gonna sit here and eat my yogurt and play with my girl and I made myself a smoothie, so I'm gonna drink that. Huh, you say hi? Say hi, Jossie. Hey, look how good I'm sitting. Hi, Jessie. Hi. Look at this smile. Do you know that the camera takes your picture? Have you figured that out already? Yeah. She's such a pretty girl. It's a few hours later and um, just like yesterday, I've been really bad about picking up the camera today. Um, I've always said that if I was gonna do this like YouTube thing, that I was gonna be super duper honest and <clears throat> I'm gonna do that now and be super honest about something. I have had endometriosis for many years and while I'm pregnant, which I just was with my daughter, I don't feel any of the symptoms of it. I don't get the the extreme, like can't even climb the stairs because they seem like Mount Everest type tiredness. I don't get the nausea, I don't get the cramping, I don't get the just horrendous, like grinding, naughty, not naughty, <laughs> feels like a knot, back pain. Um, and I just had my first period since having her last week and now all my endometriosis symptoms are starting to come back. And I just feel really bad when this happens. The exhaustion that I feel is like hard to explain. I get so tired that, you know, trying to fold a little laundry feels like I'm trying to run a marathon and trying to go up the stairs feels like I'm trying to climb Mount Everest. It's just awful. And I felt like that, I started to feel like that yesterday afternoon and um, was just like completely wiped out by the time the evening came around and I feel like that today. And when that happens, I kind of just like retreat into myself and get really quiet and um, I try to do a lot of self care and um, I try to just handle it the best that I can. I actually just told my husband, he just went to the grocery store, Jeff. I just told him that I'm considering going on birth control, which if you know me, and I know most of you don't, but I'm like very, very anti-medication unless it's absolutely necessary, and especially hormonal medication, because I know what horm like, um, uh, what's the word? Manufactured hormones can do to your body. Um, I haven't been on birth control in eight years, but I'm really considering going on it for this because this is no way to live. I literally get like two weeks out of the month where I feel like a human and then the rest of the time I'm either exhausted, cramping, have back pain, or I'm too nauseated to eat and or having hot flashes. Like that's just no way to live your life and I don't want to live like this anymore. So I am thinking about it. I will probably have to go through that appointment via telemedicine, which will be an interesting experience. But um, yeah, I don't want to run into this problem every couple of weeks and not want to pick up the camera and not want to take videos because I feel so bad. Like I, I want these memories from me and my family and more than that, I want to feel normal. I want to feel like a human, so. Um, it's the afternoon now. Jeff just went to the grocery store. We're gonna make steak fajitas for dinner, so he's gonna get some things to do that and pick up some other groceries that we needed. Um, the boys are in the other room playing Minecraft and Jocelyn is napping. So I'm gonna sit here and do a little self-care. Sorry, I was playing the race the dying battery game and I lost. 
uh, my battery died, but I just replaced it. So I was just saying, I'm gonna sit here, um, do a little bit of self-care, and paint my toenails while Jossie naps, and um, watch something fun on TV, and just try to relax for a few minutes until Jeff gets home and then we'll make dinner. Well, scratch that. <laughs> We're going to be painting toenails with a buddy because my baby never naps. She literally never naps. She took one two hour nap a couple of days ago and I thought, oh, we figured it out, she's finally gonna sleep. And now she's back to like herself again. She'll nap if you're holding her, but only for like a few minutes at a time, like 45 minutes to an hour. And she just cat naps throughout the day. She's not on any type of a schedule. Both my boys were on such good schedules and they put themselves on the schedule and she just hasn't, she doesn't sleep. She doesn't wanna miss any of the action, so. She's going to join me, finish her bottle while I paint my toenails. Okay, let's see how this goes. Got Jossie in her chair having some dinner. She's a grump grump because she hasn't slept all day. So we're gonna feed her early and maybe give her a bath and then hopefully get her to bed early. One more yogurt. She's just like, nothing is making her happy. <laughs> nothing. Here, nope, okay. I think we might be teething. What? Because she's really enjoying chewing on this spoon. Oh, no, Jocelyn. <laughs> she just shot yogurt at the window. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I won't eat. But booby milk popsicle tastes good, huh? It's definitely teething. Poor thing. I think that the frozen breast milk feels really good, though. It's dripping all over the place, but feels good. I like looked in her mouth and she's definitely got a little like nub coming up. I feel so bad. You know that has to hurt. And I bet you're tired too, huh, sis? Jossie ate. Now she's having her bath. Hey. Do you like the bath, Jossie? She's so big now that she can sit in the bath without her bath seat, which makes mommy both very excited and very sad all at the same time. You want your boat? Here you go. The big girl. Splashy, splashy. Yeah. So we're all clean. Say a good bath. Say mommy's gonna have to find some way to restrain me in the bathtub because I keep trying to climb out of there like a crazy girl that I am. Hold on, I'm gonna try to set my camera up because I wanna show you guys something. Okay. Sit it right there. So I always love it when, um, let me fix this a little bit. I always love it when YouTubers share like their favorite products. So I'm gonna share a new product that I just discovered that I did not have with my boys when I was giving them baths when they were babies. I got her these little hats. They're just like little, if you can tell, like little snaps on either end. And it snaps around her head. I tried to show you this in the bathtub, but she was like, I had to hold on to her both hands so I couldn't. So you snap it shut and you put it over their head like this. And they look like a super cute little farmer. And then when you pour the water over their head, it doesn't get in their eyeballs and freak them out and make them scream. And she loved it, it was great. And she let me rinse her hair with no problems. So um, I found them on Amazon. I just looked for baby bath hats 
and they're super duper cheap and they got here really quick and they feel like they're pretty sturdy but you get three in a package and you get a little um like net bag to put them in and it like um suction cups to your bathtub so thought i'd share that i thought that was really cool my boys would always like when i'd pour the water over their heads they you know like sputter real loud and get all freaked out and cry and she was going down the same path because she won't lay down anymore for me to like rinse her hair. She wants to be up sitting. So I had to find a new solution and I found these cute little hats and they look adorable and they work really well. Okay. <laughs> Say hi, Josie. Say hi, Josie. <laughs> Josie's gonna go get ready for bed now. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Jamie, what happened? I put slime in my face. Why? I don't know because I you were just... You playing pie face. Because you were playing pie face? You look like a bad guy with blue eyebrows. What bad guys have blue eyebrows? You know like like cartoon bad guys where they they got crazy colored hair and crazy colored eyebrows? No. That's what it reminds me of. Me, 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 me,